Good morning, guys. Um, morning, finally. Um, this is Friday morning after Thanksgiving. Um, this is Nitcast number eight of my Nitcast. I will change the name and I will let you know why. Uh, but first things first, I wanted to find out how was your Thanksgiving? Mine was great. We spent it with friends. Um, it, it was just the most relaxing, uh, just, just the day was just beautiful. So how was yours? What did you eat? Um, we had a beautiful turkey. My husband baked Napoleon tort. Uh, it, it, was, it was amazing. So we had a little bit to drink, a lot to eat. We were kind of tired, but this is, this is just an amazing morning. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna keep these things to Friday mornings when I don't work when I can have a little bit of cappuccino in the morning. And uh, you will see that preview. I recorded some of it. And it's just, it's just relaxing. It's just, it's just better than uh, doing it after 10 hour working day, you're already exhausted. So I just, this is better, so much better. All right, what am I up to? I'll show you my uh, almost finished object. I will share the pattern that I will release uh, in the beginning of next week and why and what it is. I will show you my um, uh, needle cases. Uh, I have many. I will not show you all. I will show you just a few uh, of my favorite ones. I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like about them. I will tell you... Oh, I wanted to show you this. This is... So I told you a few episodes ago that my uh, niece asked me if I can knit some mitts, uh, mittens for a little girl. And uh, I was feeling like an a-hole because I said, well, no, because I'm so busy at work and I'm trying to do this and I love this and it just takes a lot of time because I have to learn a lot and it's just, it's just a lot of time. And then she told me, well, it's kind of for a little girl that doesn't have really the left hand and it's very hard to uh, find mittens for her and they have to sew the thumb on constantly because, it, because of the, the, the little challenge there. So I said, oh my God, <laughs> I'm putting everything aside and, and I'm just doing this. So I finally did it. And this is it. So this is for the right hand. And I did, this is what I prefer to do. I like these kind of thumbs that go that way. They feel more comfortable and I will actually start them from the middle. Um, I didn't copy my pattern that I published. Uh, it's a fair isle pattern. And I figured out the best fit with, with those. And I have mittens and mittens that I, that I work just to, just to get the right fit. So it's not pulling anywhere. So this is it. That's the, the one. And then this one is for that. Um, so there's no thumb there. It's just because it's it's basically she has the the elbow and just a little bit of the hand. So that will be um, that's a little wider. And that's my attempt to actually do the heart, but it didn't come out right like that. But that's what it looks like at the top. And what um, when I saw so I was reading this. This is the book of choice right now. I absolutely love uh, Kudava Kika's podcasts and, and blogs and vlogs and everything that she produces. It's very inspiring. And I wanted her book. Um, so I got her book while, while I was abroad. And this, this, this is one of the sweaters. So I used that same technique. Of course, I could have found it on anywhere, but it was just like right here, right in front of me. So I tried to do that and I'm enjoying the book. Uh, immensely really good um, she mostly knits a uh, flat I am not happy with the fit of in around pieces um, she does knit in around but I, I not not something I would have to adjust it to to be able to wear it and I have my own so I will just stick with that so those are the mitts and I wanted to share it with you guys because I just, I had so much fun making them. They're warm enough, they're, they're squishy. So they're made out of Shibui knits. Um, Murmur, it's this one. 
it's alpaca and wool and it's so soft like and how i found out about this one uh shibui came out with it and then i worked on the hat so this is the design that will be released soon this is um a part of what i think will be my forever collection i will release the hat this year but the socks and the sweater and the cowl will be next year's releases this is not a fisherman's rib um, it's a repeat of four stitches uh, worked in a round so it's not two by two but it does resemble fisherman's rib but i just like this so much so it's uh, beanies don't look good on me um just just not 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 if i have a pom-pom a huge one then maybe it will be okay and i'm known for wearing hats with like huge huge pom-poms or two but something more elegant something that fits with all of my clothing sports or not sports uh it doesn't matter this will be it it's slightly slouchy and um, I'm in a process of just recording some of the videos on what could happen when you do not work the pattern correctly and how to fix it. And also, also, I couldn't understand why when I use different techniques, like uh, the majority probably, I don't know, what do you use for fisherman's rib? Do you knit in the row below and purl or do you do yarn overs? What I figured out, and I will, uh, I will actually demonstrate it in the video that goes along with this hat, that if you do yarn overs, because yarn over uses less yarn than the knit or purl into stitch below, then when you release that, what will be yarn over when you knit it, it takes uh, a little longer uh, piece of yarn. And what it does is it stretches that hat out by probably a good one fourth like it's it's wider and i couldn't understand why when i use this technique it's narrower this way and when i use the other technique i could actually just fold it like i can't really create that round piece because it won't when it's knit my way with yarn overs but when you knit into the stitch below and purl into the stitch below on consecutive rows rounds then it's wider and you can actually create a full circle and it will just fold like that so i couldn't understand that until i was like ah oh, aha moment yeah that's that's because of this so i will record that you will see it in that tutorial if you want to watch it uh but this is my my if i would need something this would be my forever hat i would just just knit it in every color that i want to this is so squishy and soft i just and it looks great um the picture everywhere with me wearing it in edinburgh in one of the little coffee shops um while we had some pastries there and cappuccinos that's the hat i wore it everywhere i tested it before i wanted to write up a pattern and release it i knitted a bunch of times even for my friend um, so i'm pretty happy with this one this one is is, is a keeper and there will be socks like that because I like when they kind of slouch a little bit at the ankle. So that will be the pattern for, for that. Uh, so this is it and this is what I'm working on. It's my final one. This is what the video is recorded with. Um, it's just, I just love this. This one, this one is great. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, let's do the, um, hmm. I have this thing here. Oh, actually, what am I wearing? This is my Nubia design. Because it's morning, I'm just slouching in the house, just, just normal, my, my normal attire at home. I can do some yoga. It's easy just to take the sweater off. If I'm too hot or if I'm cold, I'll just do yoga in a sweater, wearing the sweater. I like them straight. They're not quite, like, they're boxy, but not boxy as far as, like, really wide. I like them closer to the body fit, but it's really comfortable to even do yoga because it's fitted here through the sleeves. It doesn't slouch, nothing like that. So um, this is it. And it's shaped just that perfect, my normal back neckline drop and all of this. 
and it has even that decorative seam. Um, it's in the pattern, but the pattern had the, the folded. Um, you, you don't have to. You can just uh, achieve this without folding. It just needed less. But in a pattern, I, there's a fold. Um, I have this. So, no be a sweater. I'll leave the link below if you're interested. I brought this whole thing here. This is not all of it. It's just some of it. Tools of trade. So, this one. I know Fringe Supply doesn't make these anymore. I have a few new ones that... We might sometimes celebrate something. Um, I'm not big on giveaways, but um, I think in uh, lieu of Christmas, I uh, next uh, next month, probably second week or something of December, I think I'm gonna just just uh, like draw a prize and send it to you guys. I still have a few of the. Uh, um, French supply company, uh, not this kind bags, but uh, just your normal project bags. And um, I have a twig and horn, which you will see it here. This one, I'll show you this one. Some of them don't have needles because I transfer them to other uh, cases because I have so many. So this one is twig and horn case. And I, so I think I go for these because they're small they're very comfortable. They keep a lot. I like that they have still some space. What I don't like here about this one is that it's when it's locked, when it's uh, buttoned, it doesn't allow to expand it a little more. So it's not like utility roll from um, magpie fibers. And I'll show you, I have it, I have it there. So this one I had for about four years. Five, four, four or five years. I don't know quite how long I had each, but some of them I do. This is, I think, maybe the oldest one of them all. Maybe, possibly. But I have a new one, um, and that one I'm keeping for a giveaway. So wait till September. This one will be given away. It's still with the tags attached, all of the... But what it is, is when you unfold it, and I have similar ones, so I'll show you those. It opens up like this. I do have a higher, higher snips uh, always attached to one of them because it's easy to have them. And when you open it up, that's what it is. I will tell you what I do like about it and what I don't. So the zipper opens up and closes the whole thing and it's separated into three pockets, like right there, all of them. Um, the stuff here, so it says twig and horn, it's pretty sturdy material. It's not the waxed one, but it's like beautiful canvasy material. Um, these ones, they hold the needles pretty well and they have the tiny, tiny little ones where I usually would hold tapestry needle or tightening tool. So it will be like here and here, like they're, they're small. The rest fit my needles. So I don't work with big needles. I work with smaller ones. And this one is good for that. Um, instead of like in the larger ones, I would keep scissors, something like that. I always have crochet hook or two. I don't use tapestry needle uh, to weave in my ends. I mostly use uh, crochet hooks. It's easier and it's easier to just weave the end in. That's, that's what I use now. This one is very close and I like this one more because at least it allows you, it has two little buttons. It allows you to, to create like a thicker roll. This is Mood and I love Mood products. I have a few bags. I have some cases that I absolutely love. Cases, um, I have one right here. So this is one of the bags. I have a little video and I modified it slightly because I didn't like that they that they didn't have this. They you could only close one side at a time and I wanted both, so I just found something similar and I could just pull it and close both sides of the lid. That. Um, the case 
they have they have different ones and i have like a few of them but this one just holds everything that i need crochet hook oops and my stitch markers which i use a lot all of that stuff is there and uh, so they they have i have a few a few not here but I have a few of them so this one it's similar design very similar design very good quality very soft leather um when you open it up what i like about this one is it has the larger pocket to fit in your needle ga gauge um the ruler thing and then it has these pockets here they're not uh, so they're free uh, opened that they don't zip up or anything like that but it's really good for is for your cables something like that um, a measure tape measure something like that and then it has the big 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 pocket here right here this one's newer to my collection. I just removed the needles because I used the, the needles somewhere else. So I wanted to try some other ones, but that's what it is. Really great. This one I like a lot and I like that it's leather. It keeps all of the needles in. What I don't like about all of these bags, I will address it when I'll come to the Maxwell utility roll because they're similar. Uh, this one I had forever. I'm not sure which brand. I think it was Knit Fix or something. This was from my yarn shop uh, that closed years ago. Um, it's this one I like a lot, but it doesn't fit a lot. I need I need it to fit a lot more. So I just keep my um, larger size higher highs here because I don't use them a lot. So it just I just store it somewhere else with the stoppers, all of the additional stuff. So I like this. What I like about this one the most is those rubber bands here. The, the what are they? Whatever they're called. Um, because they keep the needles intact. They're there, secure. That's what I like in any needle case. This is what I do not like in those. Or in Maxwell, it's the same way. If you turn it upside down, because this one is not rigid, this is uh, this one is is not flexible. The needles stay there, like they're just they're there. Uh, with those, they fall out. If you don't, okay, I have a lot of needles. I have a lot of needles uh, because I I used a lot of them, and sometimes they just need an extra set. And I have so I buy a set. And then I would buy additional extra needles of smaller size so I can add them because I use like certain needle sizes I use a lot. Something like um, three millimeter, uh, size four, 3.5 millimeter, a uh, five, not so much because either it's four or six for me. Uh, size six US, four millimeter needles. Those are like my two go-to. Um, and smaller, but some people just don't even like to deal with smaller needles. So I just uh, like the, the the size US 4 and 6 would be my absolutely most used. Sometimes I would venture out to size 8 or 9, but that's a rare, rare occasion. And I used to use a lot of uh, 4.5 millimeter, size 7 US. That, like always, I just, it's my it's my comfort zone. It feels really good in hands. I don't need to strain. I don't like bigger needles. I, it just feels a little wrong for me. So I use the smaller ones most of the time. Um, and then I have this one, which it's good. I, I absolutely like the, the pattern. Just I just love it so much. The colors, this is like really good. What I don't like about it is just uh, sometimes it's uncomfortable. So I hold my additional cables here. For now for higher highs this is my like high higher reserve they do have two pockets but that's basically just book with with uh, clear sleeves um, in the in in the zippered part I have additional like clips and stoppers those things still in packages sometimes I just have to have some extra ones and the tightening tools those things the rubber thingies they're always useful because if you tighten with them the needles stay put um higher highest come undone for me sometimes D 
the Chegus are the best ones that keep the hold. Um, I've, I've very rarely I have Chegus come and down. Very rarely. Chegus are the best ones that stay put. Those are just really, really good. The difference between Chegus and Haya Haya is Haya Haya is slippery and the end uh, of the needle is slightly longer. I'll show you. I'll show you that. I have that. So there's a case like this that is close to that one. Um, Grace's case, as I already mentioned it in, in my um, needles video, um, they produce these. <clears throat> they still have like a little pocket to store some, but this one is mostly I just keep, keep my flexibles in. I don't like uh, double pointed needles. I actually am selling my uh, uh, Lucas on my Etsy, in my Etsy shop. I just don't use, I never use them. So I don't want to keep them. Um, these are slippery, more slippery than Chagoos. These are, um, let me, so this is another Grace's Cases. I love this one what is something that I don't like about it? Oh, it's huge. It's big. It's very uncomfortable, big that way. Um, if it would have been half the size here, it would have been better, but it fits a lot, but I can't take it with me everywhere, especially when I travel sometimes. If I travel abroad, then I need something smaller. And if if somebody would say, you're not allowed to bring this on a plane or something like that, I'm not gonna dump this whole thing, but if I'll take just uh, just tips, I can, I can throw away tips and keep my knitting on my cable and everything will be good in the world. So this one just holds my higher highs and I'll compare the tips in a second. So I'll keep this one open and I have my Chegus there. So this one, again, I have a lot of, a lot of them. So these I find a little more slippery than, than, than Chegu's. So sometimes it, it depends. Sometimes I just like these, sometimes I like Chegu's. I go back and forth, but Chegu's would be my two go to the best needle ever. Just, just the best needle ever. Um, so this one has the cases with pockets and you can unzip them. So this part unzips sorry this is a mess because I have I have some fixed ones here that are I use for socks and stuff and then this opens up with additional cables and I have the smaller needles here the larger ones are at the back there so I have a lot of them it's quite a bit of few of sets of those and these are the tiny, tiny ones, for the sock ones. These ones are shorter, longer, because I use both. Um, at any given moment, I use both. And then I have like, it has a little pocket here, if we're talking about the case. And you can unzip these things and take them with you if you, if you want to. So this one I like, but it's too big this way. It's just uncomfortable to fit in any of my um like smaller um, project bags so this one i love but mostly just holds all of the high highest that's basically what it is it's a high highest storage i'll keep it open because i want to show you the difference between the um the tips check goose how did it turn out into needle review again versus needle cases um I love to talk about knitting and needles and cases and stuff. So then there is another one. This one is maple and thread, thread and maple. Um, this one comes in a book. I'm just looking because the, the book is actually behind me. You can, these things, you hold the page. This is a page from the book, right? And if you need to, so these are Chagoos. If you need to take them with you, you can just take that page out of the book and take it with you. So this is smaller, 
but they so they create pages for different needles even if you work with one needle and the pattern suggests go with nine point uh i don't know with uh 5.5 millimeter needle oh my goodness they're, they're different they're, they're just different um and different um gauges that check the needle size they they're different you would think they all match but they don't um I'm trying to, here, let me show you this. So this is the book. This is the large one that it comes in, right? I have different uh, colors because I wanna organize them by, 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 by color mostly, most of the time. So these are the project pages that you can take out and then I fill them with, with uh, the needles. Um, and then these are, these just hold my I have two of these. One holds the cables. This one holds the needles, uh, fixed needles for me. So I can just take that and, and, and do it. This side I don't use because this is more for, I can use it for crochet hooks and stuff, but I don't have the double pointed anymore or straight needles. I don't use them. I use the, uh, and it's magnetic here. It just keeps it like that. It has a pocket, so this is very bulky. If you keep it at home, it's okay. Uh, it's very comfortable, it's useful. It keeps all of them together. They make it for different needles. So you can just um, have a leaf for Luca, a leaf for Chagoos, uh, different kinds. But Luca, I do prefer them in, in the regular cases, actually. I like them, I like how soft they are. Um, these are good. The only thing that I don't like is I understand this was done on purpose, but so many times that sticky thing, my yarn gets caught in it and damages it. That's what I don't like, but I do like the, um, the elastic here because the elastic holds the needles beautifully, just beautifully. So this is what I do like. Um, so that's thread, uh, maple, uh, maple and thread and maple sorry and then you can um, if you want to um, for it to be unfolded and you want to keep it like that you can just flip it this way and hold it and use the needles there's a little pocket here it's pretty comfortable I like that and my cables are here you can there's a lot of them in there I use a lot of them too so I have extras you can take this off and just have it like that or switch them between some of the cases have those uh those sticky backs and you can switch them around so i like these i like how comfortable it is i like that i can uh take it out of the book and have it with me and that's what i have for my project and i have uh, a number of chegus over the years i've accumulated a lot of sets um and these, like some of them, the big ones, I just don't use the large ones. But when I need it, it's there. And the last one that I'm going to talk about today, this one I had for three and a half years. Somewhere, whereabouts. It was like not 2019, March or May. I don't remember when they came out. So they just came out with these. Um, this is Magpie Fibers Maxwell Utility Roll. And it is a utility roll. And you, I mean, if you use needles, um, it's it's great. Um, I had this little thing here where I keep like little scissors and rubber things, just like that. So I have it hanging there. And then when you unroll it, what I do like about it, it holds everything and a lot. And it's smaller, so it's more compact than that one, right? And Grace's cases that holds all of my uh, high highs. Chagoos are held here, almost all of them. This is like everything that I need in one set. Um, what I have here <coughs> would be scissors crochet hooks I have a few smaller ones I just use really small ones but two because I need the tiny tiny one and then a little larger one 
Then I have these. Um, these will live somewhere else because I don't, I rarely use the largest ones. So they just hold up space that I can use for something else. And then I have, um, I have a few of the longer tips and a lot of short tips. So these I use a lot. You can tell which ones I use most. Like all of these are, are, are used a lot. And um, this is a good organization. The only thing I don't like is there's no elastic. I'm not sure how she can implement it, but elastics do hold. When you have a lot of needles, it holds. But when you don't have a lot of needles, it falls out. Like when you fold it, it doesn't matter if it has this or doesn't, it, they fall out. Um, that's what I, it's my pet peeve. Oh my gosh, that's what I don't like. Um, what do I have here? There are two pockets, big ones here. And I hold on one side, so I have the gauge ruler thingy. And on this side, I have the uh, small size. Um, what are they? I have the smaller size uh, cables for the smaller needles. And I have the twistable ones. Uh, the the these ones do not uh, swivel. This one swivels. This is from Bamboo Set, but they sell them separately. So the clear ones do swivel. I prefer sometimes the clear ones for some of the magic loop work because they're more flexible, but I do like these a lot. And um, what I like about them, this is not the video about the cases. This is the video about needles. What I like about them is that they are small here it's very easy to push them so i like that the connection the join is not as wide it's easier to push the stitches through the uh, new lantern moon ones swivel ones are compatible great they're just different color they're they're very very similar very similar but they're so wide even for small needles at this join they're much wider that it makes it more uncomfortable to push stitches through. That's that's my my opinion. So, um, Chegu's are a little more grabby. I'm trying to put, pull the same size so you can see it. High highs Chegu's. Um, actually, so high highs. It's a smoother transition from the tip, and it's a sharper tip. And they're they're smoother. These ones are grabbier. They just they just have that. These ones have the slip. These ones hold the stitches evenly, so it's more consistent. But sometimes when I need uh, just slip, just like uh, Addies, they they're slippery. This is the same thing. So what I like about Jagoose is that if you look at the tip, I know some people don't pay attention to it. I do. Uh, I notice it. Do you see that distance between the tip and when the needle becomes that uniform size? This one is longer. This one is shorter. So it's it's right here and here's like right here where that transition happens. And this is, I like that, that I have that extra length to slide the stitch off. Um, does it create tighter stitches? Probably a little bit. That's what, what leads to it because it's just tighter. These ones, um, it's smaller, shorter distance here. So by the time you slide the stitch here, it's already that size. So it's more uniform stitches create the high highest than Chegu's, but I do like that uh, to have that option. But I do like the, the really, really comparing them. I do like those really pointed tips of higher highs, higher, higher chegus that's what they are um, they're almost identical here i can use um i can't use the cables they're slightly different because uh, they're just slightly different this one has like that little pivot thingy that little offset thing so the cables do not fit but the stoppers do fit small small stoppers of the high highest those little bears and little other things they fit these perfectly i thought i had one here i removed them so they're interchangeably fit this is chegus 
fat hairs come in different bare other things little ball things they're just um they're just fun so i use them i use higher higher stoppers on check goose small cables that's what i wanted to say um what else what else but if maxwell roll had the elastic like that that's it. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have bothered with any other needle cases, any other like nothing. This would be my to go. If it had that that rubber that that uh, elastic thing here, that would be it. Um, can I sew it on? Probably. It'll be hard to do. It's probably will be done by hand uh, because it will be just in some spaces, you know. But if the, the elastic would be here and here, it would hold those dips and they will never slide out. That's my one thing that I do not like about this case. Everything else, love, 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 love. Absolutely in love with this one. This one is my absolutely just use it all the time because it holds so much. So this one was uh, smaller needle cases, uh, cables. This one's larger needle cases, uh, cables. Um, they're just bigger and thicker and then I also have this I know it's on its own it's a short tip so it's also chegu because everything chegu is in here um, but I have those little ones they're that one and what two and a half in the two inches something like that needles Sometimes I use them, but I prefer magic loops. So not as often as I used to, but I use these, I used to use these a lot. And again, almost all of them have high, 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 high clip slip thingies. So that's what it is. And it lives in this box right here. It fits there perfectly. Then there's uh, four pockets right here. One, two, three four uh, what do I have in here before I use the flexi cords from the knitters the barber the knitter barber I use these to hold the sleeve stitches or body stitches depending if I knit top down bottom up top down most of the time I would put uh, sleeve stitches on hold work on the body then return to the sleeves and work them in magic loop and I'm done with it because I prefer to see the body of the sweater on me as I try it on and then I know how far I have to go with the sleeves and if the pattern matches, sometimes it's the case. If I work bottom up, I would have to uh, sometimes keep the body stitches on hold while I work the sleeves and then connect them, um, all kinds of different things. So these have some I have a few of the sock needles that are uh, not interchangeable. And then I have a sock set here. And I have the another gauge, another ruler here. So I keep my sock set. Again, check goes here. And the, uh, the cables are right behind it, there. So that's, that's that. And it's an empty one here, nothing, nothing there. So this pocket is amazing. What I do not like about it is that it's not plastic. I don't particularly like the uh, metal zippers, nails, anything else. It just, it just not good on hands. Like it's sturdy. It's, it's a good quality, really good quality, but I don't like just getting through it because it rubs on my hands and they're sensitive so I don't particularly like it um, what I have in here what do I have in here I have these stoppers I have one of the Chegu connectors I keep them in these the original ones all they tiny I should just probably place them in one of the um, stitch marker little boxes that I have I have an additional set of crochet hooks this one was uh, I bought it for two rubles and 50 uh, like kopeki cents when I was living uh, 
I think when I was maybe 16. I don't know. Very young. I got it uh, in Moldova, where I'm from. And I brought it with me with whatever really bad needles that I had at that point. But that's what I got with me. And uh, I still keep it. I lost one somewhere. I think my daughter was playing with it when she was a child. But uh, I lost one. This one. But I still have them. And you can just put them into this little thing and, and extend them. So this is what I have. Um, I have the tightening tools here. But I like to use this one that I keep right here. So this is the new Lantern Moon tightening tool. It fits Jagu's and I like that it's wooden and extended. It's easier to than those little ones. But I keep them there just, just in case. For the, the cable work, I think I bought a set of these somewhere in Etsy. These are so good. The best thing ever. Very easy to use. I like them so I keep one in this. What else? I have as always, I have it everywhere. Everywhere I go, I have measure, tape measure. I have stick markers. Numbered uh, a few of the coconuts in here just to go and a few unique ones like uh, for beginning of the round marker. So I have those little things. And I have stoppers. I have stoppers everywhere, different kinds. And that's what I, here we go. That's what I said that I, that fits the Chai Goose. So the Chai Goose, this is the original one from Chai Goose. This is from Haya Haya's. Those little things. They just look so cute. Oh my gosh. And then, and then, coconut stoppers. I have these everywhere. I don't use a lot of them. Um, I knit pretty tightly. My stitches usually stay put, but sometimes I do slip. So I use I use these. And see, I just use smaller size needles. So I have like two, two different sizes, something like that. Um, and I think I showed you this. Yeah, I have, I have these everywhere. The, these are a must, 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 must. So this is what I have in my utility roll. I've checked, they're out. I think they're on the back order. I think all of them, most of them, I don't know. Um, so if you decide to get one, I do like that that you can extend it. There's so many holes here that you can keep it as tidy and tight. If you have not as lavish and elaborate collection of needles as I do, but I use them a lot. I use, I use them a lot. Basically, I use all of it, um, except for the larger sizes, but I try to buy the smaller sizes, but sometimes they come in a larger set and uh, I just, I don't know. Sometimes I just buy a larger set and that's it. Uh, what I did right now, Chegu came out with, uh, I'm not sure when, I just saw it. So I treated myself to a set. It's coming in the mail. I'll show you that one when it comes. Um, it's uh, the limited edition. It's the tips are their uh, normal stainless steel tips, but the uh, there's a, a ebony or something wood in the middle. So I oh, I want to try those. Those would be interesting because they're che checkers and I love them. The the joints are the smoothest joints of them all. They keep for me better than any joint. Add is get undone. Uh, high high is get undone. These are like my everything. That's that's and and the roll is amazing except for the elastic. That's what I would add here. Maybe change the really rigid, really hard, um, but really great quality zipper. Um, I would prefer the plastic one because it's easier to unzip and it doesn't hurt your hands because the pocket is is decent size but it's smallish so it's kind of to get your hand in there it always always just rubs off and, and hurts me uh, little princess here so that's it what will be next this is pretty long 
um, I thought it would be like 20 minutes done, we, we, we were good, but it's becoming a really long one. Um, passion, passion, passion about knitting, passion about, too bad you can't see the, the, what's behind the camera. It's yarn heaven and book heaven, books, 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 and more books, like enjoying some of it so, so much. Uh, do I need from them? No, I read them. I see the techniques, I learn more. Sometimes it just gives me like little ideas. Uh, maybe at some point I will have my own book and this or this will be the format. I like how small they are. I like that they have the little bookmark things. This would be it. But, and I have these, I have classics. I uh, like, I don't know, uh, Elizabeth Zimmerman's, you know, this is, this is just, uh, it's everything. The, the only book that is completely like by everything would be this. June, she's, I, this is, this is work of art. This is, this is great. So that and a lot of, um, a lot of uh, like sequence knitting and a lot of pattern, just patterns, a lot of patterns. The Barbara Walker uh, books of patterns, Japanese ones, uh, uh, you can see it all. It's, it's just, it's amazing. I love this so much. So next week, what are we gonna talk about? This, so this is just a little preview of different way of shaping your in the round knitwear, what works best, what doesn't, how to do it. Um, it's it's hard to adjust the pattern if you just knit, you know, if you don't want to complicate your life with calculating all of it. But if you do, I can give you pointers on what looks best. Um, I've had a lot of them. This is top down mostly worked, but I experimented with a lot of different kinds. So this is like that perfect depth that doesn't write up. So this is next. This is just a little preview next week. Um, also, I'm working on my newsletter. So excited. Um, and getting my, well, my website, my website is up and running. But I'm thinking, in a, I, I cook. I cook. I used to have over 500 cookbooks uh, that I learned. Over the time, I learned to uh, do the professional, like, cutting and all of that stuff. You know, the knife skills are amazing at this point. So is the... My latte arts, I like to dab into all of those things. At this point, I just wake up and I think about the recipe and I make it and it turns out most of the times like pretty good at this point of my life. So I'm thinking maybe sometimes I would just include the recipes for you guys who would subscribe to it. Uh, I will have it on my website. It's like below. I will have it on my website soon. We're getting it up and running and I want to reserve the knit to fit wording phrase um, for use. Um, it's not rechecked. So we're, we're doing that. We're trying to, to get it because I created finally, since 2014, I went to create Ravelry group that's called knit to fit. And I am renaming probably my knit cast to knit to fit to keep everything uniform. At that point, it's just all was flowing. So I'm correcting some things on the fly, but I think that's exactly what it's gonna be. Uh, and I'm so happy about it. And just like, I, I, I'm so excited. So that'll be that. And I will be giving uh, little recipes that I come up with uh, that will be only in the newsletter. I will create a link to somewhere where no one else can can have access to it. So that'll be a thank you to you guys for subscribing and maybe trying those. They're pretty healthy. Uh, usually I am all about whole foods, uh, something really uh, healthy on the healthier side. Greens, a lot of greens, uh, fish recipes. I came up with a really, really good one that uh, uh, just recently. So. All of that will be in there and I will offer discounts to my patterns uh, in the newsletter. Um, there will be special codes there. So if you would want that, it will be there. Um, some special other things, it will all be there in the newsletter. I'm excited about that, that I will be sharing with you some, some things. I'm not sure if it will be bi-weekly or weekly. Um, I, just trying to figure out my schedule uh, with all of it. So uh, we'll see, but hopefully, I, I, 
I want I want to create a weekly one. Um, it's more than enough information for a week that goes on in my life and the projects. Uh, even if I'm like slowly progressing with one hat, you know, or the sweaters that I will start working on, and there was the, the, there's like more exciting news in my life, knit wise, um, that I will talk about at some point. But this just excites me the most and even sharing just a little bit you know just just a little bit or my friends stitch markers that i i just they just bring joy as i knit i just every every round you come across and you just thank jen or um jen my 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 beautiful source of stitch markers right now and is as she promised if she will have the numbered ones uh, because i use numbered for this work for uh for the for the yoke sweaters i use numbered ones a lot to guide you guys through and to write a pattern so it's easier to understand so i i think it'll be amazing that's 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 that i'm just excited about that a lot um and techniques stuff like that and for the ease of use i will just link uh anything in the blog i don't uh, i blog techniques basically what i do um, but sometimes I might write something. I'm not a big writer. I'm I'm not. English is my second language. Sometimes it comes out so bad, like really, really bad. So I'll try to do pictures, more pictures, uh, visual, visual thing. But I'll come up with something soon and get it added to my website to be able to subscribe for those news, for the, the, the newsletter. So this is what's coming. I'll tell you more about it next week. And uh, until next week, I do hope you had a beautiful Thanksgiving and um, uh, spend time with your family and, well, knit a lot. Try to knit um, something that will fit better and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.